guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today is Zero Waste Challenge Day 7 and the challenge is to use bulk bins. So let's get started. Um, as you know, whenever you buy in bulk, it tends to not only be cheaper, but it's also eco-friendly because you are not buying things that come in a lot of plastic or a lot of just packaging. So it not only saves money for you, but it's also just a lot easier and more and a lot more eco-friendly to the environment. So I know people either use mason jars or other glass containers. Um, to go and shop for bulk items. So Whole Foods, um, Freddy's, Winko, a lot of a lot of um, grocery stores have bulk item sections that you can go and shop and get things um, by the pound or however much you want. Um, usually the way it works is that you take whatever container you're using. So for example, this mason jar, we will go ahead and weigh it ahead of time and just write how much it weighs and then you get it filled and then you will pay for the item by depending on the weight um in some other places usually if they don't weight your containers what they do is they give you a flat rate discount depending on the container so adam and i went to the um, bob's red mill um store and they just gave us 40 percent off on on the item if we had it in a glass container um, so it just really depends where you're going and the nice thing about this is that you could buy enough for what you need and then refill it whenever you want and since you're keeping it in a container it just tends to preserve a little bit more fresh so the nice thing about buying in bulk is that when you're just getting the item without any packaging and you're just bringing in your own container and you bring your own containers you're creating less waste which is part of this zero waste lifestyle. I also think that you're able to get um, things in the amounts that you need. You don't have to get a huge container of something if you only need, you know, like a smaller uh, mason jar rather than something the size. You have options to get the exact amount that you need. So that's really nice. However, if you don't have an option of getting things in bulk, obviously they don't sell everything in bulk or there are places where you, you're just not able to find certain things. So when you're going grocery shopping and you're looking for a certain item and you cannot find it in, like getting it in bulk, what you can do is um, look for the item at your grocery store that has probably the most eco-friendly packaging and that probably would be um, paper packaging rather than plastic packaging. You can also look online to see what other resources you're able to find or what other brands there might be out there that could potentially have um, a more eco-friendly packaging rather than that particular one um, with plastic. So um, I personally think that buying in bulk and keeping stuff um, put away in different containers and it doesn't have to be mason jars. You could also reuse um, any other glass containers that you come across with. Like I know sometimes uh, the jelly the jelly um, containers are perfect because they're glass um, so if you do want to have very aesthetic um, very aesthetic containers you could go ahead and get mason jars uh, but if not you could also just reuse whatever you have I think the whole point is to use what you have and try to avoid buying more stuff or just creating more trash um, for us, we had a handful of mason jars that we had. They were just like smaller size. We recently went ahead and bought um, larger ones just because we are transitioning into buying more things in bulk and seeing um, the types of flowers that we have. So if you have not bought anything in bulk, I would say go out there and explore the bulk section of your grocery store. I find that buying granola in bulk is quite um delicious because you could always get a different variety and you don't have to get a lot you could just get enough for like one mason jar just to try it or 
if you want more then you can get more also flour um, sugar and other things that you can find it tends to always be cheaper because they're not packaged so go ahead and take a look at your bulk section next time you're at your grocery store I bet you could find some awesome things so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow for zero waste challenge day eight bye bye